You know, in 1936, the Union Pacific Railroad opened up Sun Valley to the world. It was the first four-season resort in North America. The reason people moved here is because of where we live. It's in the mountains, it's beautiful. I think that central Idaho is one of the most beautiful places in the world. I started volunteering because I've always been interested in the emergency medical aspect of it, and the fire stuff sort of goes hand in hand. Ketchum Fire Department is responsible for firefighting, uh, both vehicle fires, wildland fires, structure fires, uh, any kind of fire you can think of. We use that training that we get from the trauma conference to, to be better prepared and better trained to take care of our locals and our visitors when they're out recreating. The history of the trauma conference is very important to be aware of. Um, it essentially began as a partnership sponsored by Dr. Richard Moore out of Boise and Lou Whitaker, a famous climber and Everest summiteer. Yeah, actually the way that, it, that the conference started seemed to be at a restaurant here in Ketchum when I was having dinner with Rick Moore, Dr. Rick Moore. Lou Whitaker and I had a sit-down conversation at Michelle's Christiana restaurant. So in 2006, in the winter, uh, a good friend of mine and many people in the Wood River Valley, Teresa Akari, was in an accident on, um, on Baldy. Uh, unfortunately, she broke her neck. And at that time, I got to see uh, how the ski patrol performed, how uh, the first responders performed. The goal was then to provide education and support and enhance training to uh, that group of people and hence the Ski and Mountain Trauma Conference got started. First responders are sponges. They want to hear what's new, what's the best way to do it. They're always asking, what could I have done better, Doc? So this is, this is in their nature. They want to be educated. They want to learn the right way to do it. They want to do the best they can for their patients. Uh, what we find ourselves uh, in sometimes is a low frequency, high risk situation. Now conferences like these can help us prepare for those low frequency, high risk situations for things that we don't do very often. You almost can't put a price on that kind of training. I'm McKaylee Reed. Um, I'm 21 years old and I live in Vail, Oregon. Two years ago, got in a really bad car accident. It was a head-on collision. I was on the Vail Highway 2026 um, going to school, and the girl was going the opposite direction, going towards Vail, um, and decided that she was late and passed. About that time, we hit driver's side, driver's side. Um, and I was only going 35 and she was going 65, so it was like her hitting a brick wall, which is why it was so bad for me. If you can transport a patient from the injury site to definitive care in 30 minutes to an hour, their survival rate goes up. So that's why it's kind of important that we get these guys out there, get them to stabilize the patients and then mobilize them to a specific center that can manage their care in as short a period of time as possible. So I was in the hospital um, for a total of 45 days. By having the first responders, the paramedics, the ski patrolmen, the um, emergency responders out there in, in the hinterlands who were doing the work in the trenches, pulling these patients out of these wrecks and off the mountains, we need to educate them and bring them up to the level where they can do their job more efficiently and make it safer for the patients that they take care of when they bring them to us. If it wasn't for the first responders and the training that they had, I wouldn't be here today. We're all part of the same team, but we all need to function at the same level. So to do that, we need to provide education. This conference could not have been put on without Lou Whitaker. Now the people that benefit from this uh, trauma conference are a wide scope, and it's the largest in the United States. The trauma conference benefits first responders 12 months out of the year. Not only are they directly helping the firefighters and EMS workers, both full-time and volunteer, they're helping the community in itself. Any support for the trauma conference will help us take better care of them. Those dollars that are donated will directly benefit the patients that are responded to in the future. So every dollar goes much farther. It's really exciting for me to go to Sun Valley and see paramedics from all over the place to help them close the loops in their educational deficits and to increase their knowledge of how to take care of these sick patients in such a way that we can better the system and provide better care to patients and hopefully 
when they come back to their communities, they can use this to provide it for their family members and their neighbors. It's a mix of the experts who are learning from each other. All players get a chance during the fall to meet at a wonderful place in Sun Valley, but watching the collaboration that occurs in this conference between all players uh, has, in my opinion, been uh, remarkably beneficial to patient care.